This is an article from MysteriousUniverse.org entitled Spooky Encounters with Paranormal Black Blob-like Entities by Brent Swanser. There are many types of paranormal phenomena out there. Ghosts, demons, wraiths, and specters of all kinds. Yet sometimes there is a type of entity that seems to defy all normal categories, and which lurks out in the periphery of the odd. Among these must certainly rank the many reports of what appear to be intelligent, dark, blob-like entities that don't seem to comfortably fit into any sort of traditional paranormal phenomenon. Here we will look at a selection of some weird instances of these strange things. In many cases these Dark blobs are seen lurking about in people's residences, much like a ghost, but unique and strange enough to possibly be classified as something else. One such witness is Reddit user Radioactive Panda Bear, who claims that her experience with these entities began when she moved to a new city to live in a house with some friends. It began with her seeing shadows that darted about at all hours in several different areas of the apartment, usually between the hours of dusk and 10 p.m., and appearing as pitch black, blob like shapes, ever shifting and pulsing. Although they would occasionally take more humanoid forms. These blobs would get bolder as time went on, sometimes buzzing or fluttering about her like moths around a flame, or approaching her as if curious, and she claims that both her housemates saw them as well. She says of the strange entities, quote, I've seen my dog react to them, so that put to rest for me any consideration the entire phenomena itself is a figment of my imagination. My cats used to chase the smaller cat-sized shadow blobs that dart around here. Maybe they still do, but I now largely keep the cats confined to two rooms of the house while we remodel, so I have not been keeping track of their reactions lately. I mostly perceive the blobs either peripherally. Sometimes I get to see them almost straight on, yet I can't quite seem to focus somehow because they move just fast enough to stay out of the direct center of my vision. My roommate asked me tonight if there is any way to get rid of them. It's strange because I have never had any bad vibes or feelings, and I can usually pick up on when something is being aggressive spiritually. But this just feels different. There's no feeling at all. No getting the chills or getting goosebumps so I'm really not sure what they are, end quote. Another witness on Reddit called Sheherez underscore odd explains that her and her roommate have seen something very similar prowling about their home. She at first noticed it as a blob-like entity that would fleetingly appear in the periphery of her vision, and she at first chalked it up to some sort of vision anomaly until she noticed that it only happened at home and that her roommate was seeing it as well. She says of it, quote, For the last few weeks, I keep seeing this black, amorphous blob out of the corner of my eye. In multiple locations in my house, but it only happens at home. It almost always follows the same pattern. I see the black blob in my peripheral vision. I turn and look, expecting to see my roommate, and there's nothing there. Then, I get this overwhelming feeling that I am being watched, and every time, I tell myself that I'm being paranoid and to go back to doing whatever I was doing. Today, after I got home, my roommate told me that, while she was trying to take a nap, she kept seeing this blobby shadow move past her bedroom door, which was open about six inches. At first, she thought that that I came home early, but realized that it wasn't time. It happened again, and she called out, you home? But there was no answer. It happened three times in a row. I never told her about my own experiences before she told me her story. Then, about ten minutes ago, it happened to me again. I was on the couch, drawing, and trying to figure out how I was going to fix the big mistake I just made, and I saw that damn blob again. I looked up, and of course there was nothing there, except for that creepy feeling like I'm being watched. Assuming that my roommate and I aren't crazy, or have some sort sort of weird medical problem that causes us to see big black blobs. What are the options here for what this could be? I've heard of shadow people before, but aren't they supposed to be, well, people-shaped? What else could it be? End quote. The shadow people she refers to are another type of shadowy entity that are also like ghosts or wraiths of some sort and usually take on a humanoid shape, and they are often mentioned in discussions on sightings of black blobs, but due to certain differences, the two seem to be a different phenomenon altogether. There is also the account by Reddit user Ignis underscore Fatus, who gives an account from a friend of his, who seems to have been plagued by a strange quote-unquote black dot that is roaming about his house, appearing on walls, the ceiling, and even in the bathroom. It is described as ranging in size from a quarter to around the size of a baseball, and is looking like just a sheer black ball, blob, or mist, always producing an unsettling feeling of unease. The witness says of this strange phenomenon, quote, The first time I saw it, I was walking out of my bedroom into the living room. All of my walls are painted 
painted white and I don't have anything really on them. I have one painting on the wall next to my front door, but that's it. Point being that it really stands out when I see it. But usually the minute I notice it, it is gone. Only once have I seen it straight on, and that was about three nights ago. I got up early in the morning, probably 5 or 6 a.m. to pee, opened my door, and went into the bathroom that is right next to my room. I did not turn the light on, as there is usually enough light from the street lamps outside my house shining into my room and into the short hallway where the bathroom is. Without lifting the seat, I started going and finished up. My eyes were closed the whole time, and when I was done, I looked down to flush, and there it was on the middle left side of my toilet seat. I yelled, fuck, and jumped back now wide awake with my heart pounding, but it was gone. This time, though, I actually saw it move, and it was amazingly fast. It's not an animal. It's not an insect, like roaches or anything. My house is very clean. I don't have bugs. I don't own any pets, and I live alone. It's not shiny, but it's not see-through, and it appears to be perfectly round. I even tried googling to see if maybe anyone else had experienced this, or if there was an explanation for it, and found nothing. I have friends who are into the unexplained, and some have suggested that I am hallucinating, that it could be high EMF in my house or a gas leak or something, but my brother is in construction and couldn't find anything when he came over to check my house. Everything checked out normal. I don't know whether to be afraid or not. I just simply do not know what this thing is. But I have seen it five times for sure and maybe a few other times, but like I said, sometimes it is out of the corner of my eye, so it could be anything. I even went and got my eyes checked and the doctor said I have 20-20 vision, so I am not seeing those kinds of spots. Whatever this is or these are, they are physically in my house. End quote. On Your Ghost Stories, there is a report of a dark blob mass appearing on the ceiling of the witness as she was talking with her sister in their home one evening. She says that as they chatted away, they noticed a black shape sort of flowing across the ceiling to congeal in a corner, in which they soon realized was not just a normal shadow. The witness says, quote, As we were talking, I noticed this black shape on the ceiling. I actually really did not think anything about it, though, until I shifted my eyes up. It started to bother me, but I immediately thought that it was the shadow of my fan or TV. So I poked my sister and we both agreed we would find out what the blob thing was. We started moving this quietly as my mom was sleeping next door. I moved the fan. The blob stayed. I moved the TV the blob stayed. Basically, we moved everything except for my damn bed. Me and my sister looked at each other and ran in the bed. It was hilarious at the time, but now that I think about it, it creeps me out. So after seeing the blob shift towards the other corner, I actually got really scared. I prayed like a damn nun, and so did my sister. Then I couldn't believe it. A white blob showed up and the dark blob disappeared." End quote. What was going on here? For the most part, these black blobs seem rather innocuous and harmless, if not a bit frightening. But on occasion, they can be decidedly creepy and even menacing. Some of the eerier reports come from people in the safety of their bedrooms, and one such report comes from Reddit user Bizrat7, who claims that he and his wife were menaced by such an entity as they were going to bed. He says of what happened, quote, This happened to my wife and I about a year ago. We were living in our old house that we have since moved out of. My wife and I are both stern skeptics and have not experienced anything else paranormal before this event or ever since. Here is the story. We had just gone to bed and I was lying in bed with my eyes open just staring at the ceiling. My my wife had already fallen asleep. I could tell by the way she was doing those sleep twitches and breathing. As I lay there, I began to notice strange shadows on the ceiling. At first, I didn't think much of it, and looked around to find the source of the shadows. I found both cats asleep motionless, and the shadows were still moving. Then they began to get more intense and dark. They kept getting bigger and then smaller and bigger and smaller. The way I describe it is if you're in a paint program and have the elliptical circle tool with the paint bucket filled to black and you're dragging it bigger and smaller. It was at this point I woke up my wife and asked, specifically, not to give anything away. Do you notice anything in the room? She lay quiet for a minute, absorbing what she was seeing and replied, yeah, these black circles on the ceiling. What the fuck? We both laid there and watched as these things grew bigger and bigger and it quickly began to feel like this darkness was engulfing the entire room. What was worse was the vibes we both started to feel. It grew increasingly uncomfortable and we both just wanted to leave the room. I got up and turned the light on. At that point, no shadows were visible anymore, but we still felt an overwhelming evil presence in the room. Room. We ended up sleeping on the couch downstairs that night, and that's the one and only time that has ever happened. End quote. Another very similar report comes from a Reddit user who says that both he and his wife have also seen a bizarre blob-like entity in their bedroom that he feels might have been watching them or even coiled in wait to attack them. It began when he woke up in the middle of the night to see what seemed like a large amorphous black mass like a cloud looming near their bed, and he explains, quote, Me and my wife were in bed. Above me, we were practically blanketed by what I would assume 
describe as a very dark black cloud slash mist. I pointed at it, almost touching it. As I did this, this thing practically jerked away from my hand. It looked like it was forming rolling black clouds and ascending up to the ceiling. I quickly shook up my wife saying, do you see it? Do you see it? She woke up and stared at this thing. It went all the way up to the ceiling where it dissipated through the ceiling. It looked like it just went straight through it. The whole experience lasted about 25 seconds. I asked my wife what she saw. She described exactly what I had seen. I did not give her any details at all to what I had seen. Again, this thing was very, very dark. It looked like some kind of black cloud formation. It did not look like smoke. We did not smell smoke. Nothing was burning. This thing reacted and moved like it was intelligent. It has been months, and I am terrified to sleep on my own. Whatever it was, was watching us sleep. I'm just really fucking creeped out now. Just knowing whatever it was, was not a hallucination. Knowing that it was watching us while we sleep, not knowing what it's capable of, very unnerving. My sleep is shit now. End quote. Was this thing out to do them harm? It is hard to say. In some cases, it does seem as if such entities are somewhat malevolent, perhaps even evil. In one harrowing account, we have Redditor u 4 xand in Seattle, who claims that he was actually rather violently physically assaulted by one of these things on two separate occasions. His report is like something out of a horror film, and describes a very aggressive black blob like a quote-unquote blurry limbless rat, which seemed to have no good intentions towards him and seemed intent on harming him towards some nefarious end. It seemed prone to attacking him as he slept, and his harrowing account reads as follows, quote, I was asleep this particular night, but was suddenly awakened. When I woke, both of my arms were completely numb, and I could feel an odd thumping sensation on the inside fold of my right elbow. I looked at it, and to my astonishment, there was a dark blob there. I say attack only for lack of a better word. I am not entirely convinced that it was an attack. The action it was performing would best be described as a very blurry, limbless rat trying to headbutt its way into my arm very rapidly. Now, I saw this and thought, what? My mind is playing tricks on me. I then took my numb left arm and flopped it onto my numb right arm where it was being accosted by this figment of my imagination. To my horror, it quickly leaped onto my left arm and started its pulsating headbutt attack on the same spot on my left arm. This freaked me out. I shot up out of bed like an excited Dracula, immediately on my feet from a laying position. By this time, I had regained some feeling in my arms, and though they were still very tingly, I had a little more use of them. I started swatting the blob on my left arm with my right hand. The damn thing actually dodged, and after a few more swat attempts, it leaped back to my right arm and did its little pulsating headbutt attack on the exact same spot as it was originally. By this time, my heart felt like it was going to burst and I was freaking the hell out. I shook my body violently and managed to throw the thing off of me. I lost it in the darkness as it fell, and saw it no more. I spent another half hour or so awake and watchful, but eventually convinced myself it was nothing and went to sleep. The experience became a memory that I never forgot, but never Never lent much credence to. I figured I was just having some weird nighttime hallucination. A few months later, I left Seattle and came to Kansas. I had decided to go to college, but did not want to pay huge money for undergrad, so I was staying with family for about a year until I got my own place. During this year, I had another encounter with a dark blob. The first one, in Seattle, occurred in August. I don't recall the day, just the month. The following August, while staying with family in Kansas, was when the second encounter happened. Again, I was sleeping. I awoke and immediately realized that something was pulsating at my neck. I knew what it was immediately when I glanced over on my left shoulder and a dark blob was doing the same pulsating headbutt attack at the side of my neck. This blob was significantly larger than the year before. I immediately started swatting at my neck, frantically, and managed to dislodge it. I was able to see it fall onto my bed, as I was already standing upright on it. I even managed to track its movements onto my floor where it ran under some clothes. I tried to follow it further and lost sight of it. I started searching under my clothes on the floor but it was gone. That was five years ago this August. I have not seen it since. End quote. What was this thing up to? What was it trying to do? Who knows? Perhaps even spookier are accounts of people describing these entities as lurking about near children with what appears to be nefarious intent. Take the account given by Redditor Heroa Derpina, who says she encountered a seemingly quite unfriendly black blob in her home as she was taking care of her kids. She says that she had just put her three kids to bed and was doing some last-minute tending to them when she walked into the hall to be greeted by a pitch-black blob hanging from the ceiling like some kind of grotesque 
mask spider. And she says, quote, when I walked out of the hallway into the common area, I immediately felt like I wasn't supposed to be in there. I kept going into the kitchen, and for some reason I looked toward the front door. In the entryway, I saw a black blob hanging from the ceiling in the corner. It was definitely not a shadow. I approached it and checked it out for some stupid reason, and I could see that it was not flat against the wall like a shadow. It was roundish, almost like a cocoon, but more irregular. I could not see through it at all, but I could see irregularities in the color. It almost looked like it had brown spots, and it seemed to be moving just enough for me to tell that it was moving. I looked around for anything to explain it away, and I couldn't. Now that it's light out, I see even less of an explanation. After I fed the baby and put her back down, I went back into our room and saw that both of our shades were opened. My husband was in the room across the hall from my daughter. I had the door open and would have seen him or my toddler leave. My oldest son's door was closed and it makes a very distinct sound when it opens. We don't have a very big house and sound carries extremely well and I didn't hear a thing. It was eerily silent. I definitely felt like I was being watched and that whatever it was that was hanging on my ceiling did not want me in that room. After all of the experiences I've had, this is the first time I felt threatened. I'm concerned for my kids. The three-year-old is autistic and has other special needs and can't tell me when something is wrong. End quote. The same kind of ominous behavior can be seen in a report from Above Top Secret, in which a worried father tells of a black blob he spotted apparently harassing his infant son with unknown purposes. He says of his rather disturbing experience, quote, My son is 13 months, and because of teething, it happens frequently that he awakes in the middle of the night. I then take him with me on the couch in his room, give him half a bottle of light porridge, and try to make him sleep. The day before yesterday, I fell asleep with him on the couch and woke up just before 3 a.m., hearing he had a nightmare. I softly gave him a hug and nudged him to wake up. At that moment, in the middle of my vision on the back of the sofa, I saw a black spot of approximately 10 by 20 centimeters leaving my son and going upwards on the back of the couch. After an initial shock, I tried to simulate the shadow, but whatever I did, the shadows for me were much lighter, not the real black of the spot. The room is very dark because of two sets of curtains. Only light sources are a little nightlight and the light of the baby phone. This event has stayed on my mind since then. What was it? End quote. The black blob phenomenon is not merely confined to homes, and there are accounts from outdoors as well. One such report comes from Redditor Jack3991, who claims that he saw a, quote, black shape-shifting entity as he was walking home from the supermarket one evening. He explains of what happened, quote, So one night, must have been around 9.30, not sure exactly what time of year, but it was getting dark and not overly cold, so I'm guessing around April, May. I was walking home from the supermarket. At the time, I was living with my parents, and the house was maybe 30 minutes walk away. Normally walking home from that shop, I would cut through an estate rather than walk the main roads around, not for any particular reason. I think I just preferred it as it was quieter. So at the end of the road, after getting onto the estate, there are some bollards and a footpath to another street a few meters away. I walked through and turned onto this street when I saw something in the middle of the road. Now it all happened pretty quick, but within those few seconds, what I saw had disappeared behind a car. It looked like a ball of dense black mist that was kind of pulsating or something, not perfectly still. It was about 20 meters away when I saw it, so judging by the distance, I would say that it was the size of a large dog. As soon as I saw it, it zipped behind a car at the side of the road. It wasn't on the ground and didn't appear to have any legs, so I kept walking, thinking, what the fuck was that? I get to where it was and have a look around the cars to see if I could find it, but there was nothing there. I walked pretty quickly home after that. End quote. Reddit user Mind Your Business had a rather bizarre experience as they were driving home from work one night, and the witness says, quote, Late one night, I was driving home on the highway around 1 to 2 a.m. The moon was out, but it was cloudy, so the sky was that dark gray color. I remember looking up while I was driving and seeing what looked like a black garbage bag stuck on a telephone wire, blowing in the wind. But I remember thinking, that's odd because that line would be way too low over this highway. I had driven that part of the highway hundreds of times. I was driving about six 60 miles per hour and the black blob wasn't moving and as I got closer, I noticed that the quote-unquote black garbage bag was moving in a more fluid motion than a bag blowing in the wind. It looked like a blob of oil hovering in one spot, kind of like a lava lamp. It also kind of looked like the robes from a Dementor in Harry Potter. This was a few miles from a huge outlet mall in Chicago, Illinois, Chicago Premium Outlets, and I was the only car I saw driving in both directions. I was lost in thought for a few seconds after, trying to comprehend what I saw. I didn't feel any fear, but was really mind after trying to put together what I saw. Definitely was the oddest thing I've ever seen in my life. 
end quote. Reddit user Calder4 also claims to have had just such an encounter as he had been driving home from work across a rugged route that took him through fields and thick forests. He says that at night it becomes almost impenetrably dark out on that road, with only the faint illumination by the headlights stabbing out into the night to push the utter blackness away. On this evening, the drive would be a bit spookier than it usually was, when he had a brush with something he cannot explain. He says of his surreal experience, quote, On this night, I had left work around 10.30 p.m. Work had been busy and I was still running off the adrenaline high from the day. It was just past 11 p.m. and I was passing the off-ramp for the airport. A slight mist was starting which helped the few lights in the area travel farther and light up the sky with a low, warm glow. It was while approaching this area that I noticed something abnormal in my line of vision. A large black blob. At first, I thought I must be tired and was seeing black spots like you might see if you sit up too fast or look at a bright light, but I felt alert, and when I blinked it didn't fade. In fact, instead of soft around the edges, it seemed solid, like a three-dimensional object. I blinked dumbly for a moment, not understanding what I was seeing, but soon I started to make sense of it. It was not my eyes. That seems like such an absurd thing to have to say, but it was not my eyes. As I drove closer, it grew clearer and larger. It was the size of a refrigerator, roughly oblong, not humanoid like I've heard quote-unquote shadow people described as, but more, well honestly, potato-shaped. It hovered nearly three feet off the ground and was the darkest shade of black I've ever seen, and yet somehow it still managed to reflect light off of its uneven form. Its quote-unquote body was like liquid fabric, rippling and quivering like slow-motion jello. I observed all this in a matter of moments before I was jarred from a trance-like state by the car in front of me plowing through it. At that moment, I suddenly realized I was also about to drive into it and felt a jerk reaction to swerve, but before I pulled the wheel, its quivering grew violent and exaggerated until it collapsed in onto itself a moment before the front end of my car had the chance to even touch it. I looked back in my mirror, but saw nothing. I looked around and ahead of me, but saw nothing. I spent the whole ride home praying that whatever it was, it hadn't gotten into the car with me. Every once in a while I'd be brave and check the back seat, but saw only the shadows that normally accompany me home. I don't know what it was I saw that night, but I often find myself trying to debunk it by recreating the circumstances. I have looked for anything in the area that might explain it, stared into bright lights, etc., but nothing works. I haven't heard too many people describing black potato-shaped jello blobs before, but if you've seen one, let me know what you think it is. End quote. What is this bizarre thing? What are we dealing with in cases like these? The entities seem to display some form of animation and intelligence, but they do not seem to really fit in with the hallmarks of regular ghost sightings or even with a phenomenon known as shadow people. This seems to be something different, in its own world, almost its own category of phenomenon. What are these things and what draws them here to us? Are they ghosts, demons, spirits, interdimensional aliens, or something else altogether? Whatever these things may be, black blob and orb entities seem to certainly dwell within their own corner of the world of the paranormal, and definitely deserve some consideration as some of the stranger paranormal phenomena out there.